Okay, we're back. We're back. I think it's working now. Is it? Does it? Huh, Ross? Does it? It does. And where are my friends fans at? Does it? All right. We got the video back. We got tags added. Looks much better. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and reshare the new stream. good eh you can see me clap it so does not <laughs> oh that's too good all right guys I think we're back we're back at it <laughs> it so does not it's too good so yeah so I didn't open the rest of them yet but this one I was going to open off screen and then it was so stuck to this that I didn't want to pull it and potentially rip the pack open off screen. So I'm just gonna do it now. Jeez. Okay, well it didn't open the pack, which is good. All right, cool. There we go. Yo, Mikey Carrero, let's go, bro. I heard there was Pokemon around these parts. <laughs> Let's go for me now, Kobe and company. Let's go. Alex123 in the house. It's Gucci now. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Let's do this. So, um, first things first, guys. We had a bunch of packs that we didn't open yet from the last custom booster boxes. Both the high roller had... Um, three people. It had Jason, Jeremy, and Swift that all had three packs of Cosmic Eclipse each. So we're going to shuffle their names in a minute. And we're going to open eight packs for them each. We'll just give it stuttering a little bit. Are you for seriously? I think it might be this new theme or maybe it's just YouTube today. I really don't know guys. Don't know. Drop screen detected. How do I fix this? I think we're just gonna have to go it. I have to go and hopefully it fixes. I think it'll fix itself. I think it'll fix itself. I hope it fixes itself. Otherwise, what am I gonna do? What will I do? I think it's a. Oh man. I don't even know. Yo, some of these are so like glued into these. Leaves is crazy. Okay. Just to let you know, I've been playing just be hot pursuit on my Switch and like a lot of nice cars. That's what I'm talking about, John. You two just being some form of wonky today. Hmm. Might be on YouTube side. Yeah, I'll just let's just all blame YouTube and we're good. We're good to go. Oh, this one cracked open, I think. Did it? Nope, we're good.
Lily, get out of there. Get out of there. What are you doing? Get out. Get out. Get out. Good girl. Okay. Yeah, what's going on? Tempest Twinkie in the house. Overlay probably isn't helping. I took off the border. Oh, I'm back to the green, guys. I'm back to green bars. Are we good now? I'm back to green bars. Jeez. The switch is incredibly versatile. I use every day. Man, I really want to switch, guys. I want to switch before I want the new PS5 uh, with the new Xbox. Yo, Biscuit Gang in the house. Let's go. Dang it, five minutes late. Bro, we actually had a whole another stream that went on for like 10 minutes and then it crashed. It didn't crash, but it, there was audio and visual issues, so I crashed it and then started this new one. Lily is so nice. Lily is the nicest. Lily. Oh, you sure heard me talking. Okay. We're going to just open the rest of them as we go through them. Let's get some pack openings. Unless... Yeah, we got 24. Perfect amount of viewers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Um, yo, Richard Thomas, let's go, bro. How's it going? Alright, so guys, I think we're good, eh? I think we're good. We're back in action. Let's get two more here. Looking good, Kobe. Alright, let's go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Thank you for the message. Subscribe, by the way, good advice. We'll take into account when managing our channel and our inventory. Appreciate it a ton. Man, no worries. Choice combo. I'm excited to see what you guys do there. Yo, Adino. Adinio. One, two, three. What's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. That should be eight in the box. Beautiful. Alright, let's get it going, guys. Let's get it going. Oh, V dot. Far too kind. Thank you. So let me get the, yeah, we have that tournament going. It's a work in progress, but this is how it looks like right now. Alright. So, who's in this battle right now? We have... Swift is in the battle. He's uh, the number one slot here. We got Swift. Okay. Um, I think I saw Saint, no? I thought I saw Saint. But I know we have Sniper. So it's Sniper versus Swift for round one. Then we have V-Dot. Guys, this is the new Snipe, or uh, sorry. This is the new Fates Collide Battle Royale. So, the winner of Swift and Sniper will move on to the second round. Okay? The winner of B Dot versus whoever buys the next bot will move on to the second round as well. The winner of that moves on to the final. Should I make the final have like like that yeah the final and then the winner of the whole tournament gets every single pack in this so that's 14 total packs as well as that uh, Rayquaza that Japanese amazing rare very cool so we got sniper Swift V dot all right so I'm gonna put that to the side and then So, am I missing anything, guys? What day are you going to do the Zerg giveaway? That, so it's seven days exactly from the day we dropped it. So I think it was on Friday. So that means today's Monday. Yeah, we have four or five more days. If you guys haven't joined uh, into the giveaway, we're giving away this hollow Charizard, right? All you have to do is go comment in um, 
on the video that I made a few days ago. It's a three minute long video and it's called thousand subscriber giveaway. You just have to comment how you found um, the channel. So even if you found me today, even if you found it right now as I'm talking about this, just go be like, however you found it and you're good to go. And after a few more days on Friday, we'll go live to do a random comment picker. We'll go ahead and uh, pick a winner that way. So let's get into this Cosmic Eclipse, guys. I know I'm missing stuff. I know I'm missing stuff. But uh, we also gotta get these packs opened. So I'm just gonna shuffle these quickly. The first person that'll draw their eight packs will be. Jason. Okay. We got Jason's pack coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight packs there. Put these right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Friday is Christmas this week though. Oh, it is, eh? Okay, so we'll do it on uh, we'll do it on Saturday. So Friday will be the last day to submit your comments and join the giveaway. And then uh, Saturday, I'll come on to... So any comments after Friday will not count. It's gonna be tough to do. I might have to turn off comments after or something. Hmm, very interesting. All right, let's go, Jason. They packs the Cosmic Clips. Let's put Jason up here. Green code to start. I think you, I don't remember what you do with your code, so I'll leave them right there. One, two, three, four. And let's do five. All right. Yo, this reminds me a lot of Frieza. His first form when he was like going around in that uh, little space seat. He had a floating seat that he went everywhere with. He wouldn't even get up. Carvana. Okay. My comment literally said I've never missed a live stream, then I missed a live stream like five minutes later. <laughs> Man, no worries at all. You can give away the codes, Kobe. Oh, very nice. Boom. Bam, guys. Codes courtesy of Jason. Quarren Stream Charizard Edition. Kobe, I found you in rep stream because we would always chat in the chat back and forth. Yeah, man, I remember that. What's the best booster box to get? Uh, first edition base set. And what's the cheapest? Mm, probably Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash probably the cheapest base uh, booster box right now. One, two, three, four, five. I think I remember the first time Kobe came to a Poké Store. Really? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man. What was it like? What was it like? Was I just adding people right away the first day? Okay. I have ambitions to play the PTC Go, but I haven't yet. Man, I played it the other day. I played it the other day. I had time. I opened it up and I was like, trainer challenges, done. Finish those, move on to second round. And then I didn't play anymore of that. But I played a lot, like I did it. I leveled up my deck and stuff, it was nice. I think I told him to read the- <laughs> You told me to read the description, eh? <laughs> oh, let's go, first hit. One, two, three, four. Even if I get a four one of those, I still don't have a working PS4 or Xbox One, which I'd rather get instead of new games being added to that generation of consoles anyway. My PS4 slim disk drive broke a month after receiving this gift. That's tough. At least you don't need the disk drives as much anymore now, eh? Like, it's very rare people use the disk drive now. Remember when we could resell games after we finish with them? Can't do that anymore. Cynthia and Caitlin and... Alunala. Okay. Come on, Jason. We gotta heat this up. Let's go secret rare time. Secret rare time for sure. Sony doesn't let you update faulty consoles either, so I can't play. Oh man, that's tough. 
That's it. Abra in the house. What's going on, bro? Abra, you're gonna go crazy over these new new custom booster boxes. I've uh, I've outdone myself. Oh yeah, I knew it was a secret rare. I knew it was coming. I, I felt it. I felt it. I love these cards, guys. Cosmic so underrated. Look at that full art secret rare. Dang. Okay, Jason. We see you. Oh, he got secret rares. I definitely prefer buying physical still. And then when I get a disappointing one like AC Valhalla, I can sell it again. It's probably the smartest thing to still do. Yeah, like, it got me. I remember when first, uh, like, digital games came out, I was like, I'm never buying digital games. I'm getting the disc so I can sell them and just have my library collection. And I was like, digital games are lazy. And now I'm just like, I'm not getting a disc because I'm not getting up every two seconds to put it in. <laughs> Funny how things work, okay? Eh? Oh yeah, Poke Dojo vibes. Yo, Jay Hitaru in the house. Reminds me of a sub, but both are scary. My fave is Majin Buu. Ooh, which which Buu is your favorite? Okay, here's another full art. Ah, oh, Piplup. Piplup is good though. Piplup's a good card to get. I prefer physical as a hoarder. I mean collector. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll give you one of the 16 new consoles I got my Those are all for family for Christmas. Jeez, Biscuit Gang, going deep, eh? Biscuit Gang, were you the one that said the other day that you were buying your mom a car for Christmas? And then... Where was that? You asked the chat, the chat... Oh, it was in Trainer Trey's, because Trainer Trey has that Audi. And he told you to get the Audi. I, I think I remember that. I wish I still had my old video games. Me too, bro. Video games are the best. Okay, there we go. Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff. Very nice. And a Tango. Chubby Boo, of course. Lots of the Soulful Clover. Chubby Boo is hilarious. He ends up loving the little puppy. Gets mad when, uh, I forget who, someone messes with the puppy and then he brings him back to life or something. Android Saga was serious. Bam. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, what's going on, Num? Appreciate having you here. Entei is the rare there, guys. We're talking Dragon Ball. We're not, we're not talking about Dragon Ball Z. We're, we're talking about Dragon Ball? Yeah, I love Dragon Ball Z, bro. I found you through YouTube being like rare. Oh, man. Aaron Joy, I can't wait to go read that comment. I got the little notification. Let's go, Aaron Joy. Okay, so these uh, have been kind of tough. Kind of tough. Let's see if the last pack can save the day here. Oh, it's a hit pack. Let's see what kind of hit. going crazy for these code cards right now I'm tossing them she's hunting them down she's ripping them apart she's having fun we're having fun let's go last pack magic yeah cloth Christmas is costing me 180k plus all around anyway let's not remind myself that of that yeah it was in yeah okay all right all right that's dope man congratulations on that like man biscuit gang um, Dragon Ball Forever. Okay. Okay. Volcarona GX. Those were tough, tough fate packs. At least we got you the secret rare. Um, hopefully it keeps rising in value, like Cosmic Eclipse cards are not really doing yet. It's so crazy, guys. If you look at other sets, Cosmic Eclipse are still, uh, if... Yizzy, Yizzy has a segment in his podcast called Underrated Cards of the Week. He could just list Cosmic Eclipse Full Arts because they're still like very affordable, all almost under like five bucks each, uh, except for a few. But 
I'd expect those to arise. Yo, what's going on, Crumb94? And we got Pokey Nuts in the house. Let's go. If I minus three, I minus three. That's all good. It happens. Thank you, man. Appreciate the good sportsmanship. Speaking of good sportsmanship, tomorrow is uh, the NBA season, guys. Jeez. Jeez. Watch the original Z over 100 times in different languages. That's crazy, bro. It's stuttering a bit. No way. Well, hopefully it stops in a second. I might just be having like uh, some turbulence. Hopefully the fire is in there for the other three. Yes, sir, Jason. And hopefully your vintage pack today. We'll, we'll open that fossil pack. Hopefully you get a hollow. Hopefully you get something crazy. I think it's going to be a hollow today. I have a feeling it's going to be a hollow. Who's playing the Lakers in the finals this year? The Nets, bro. The Nets are playing the Lakers in the finals. But that's the thing. Um, Kyrie is kind of injury prone. And so is KD. KD never played a full season in OKC, let alone Golden State, let alone... You know, after an AC, um, an Achilles tear. So, it's a tough call, but they're really deep either way. You know it was really deep? I saw the other day, just looking at their roster. Atlanta's nice. Atlanta's nice this year. Atlanta's really nice this year. And in the East, anything can happen. So, oh man, I can't wait for this season. Alex123, yes sir, man. It's stuttering, are we still stuttering here? Bam! Clap. Don't speak on the Spanish dub as you. Yo, you're actually watching a bunch of different languages. That's nuts. Watch the collector. What's going on, bro? Uh, can I buy a pack? You can buy into the pack battles or the regular custom booster box. But right now, I kind of took off the live menu so I can just focus on the pack opening right now. Uh, yeah, those EBD, DBZ days, man. Got me into martial arts and meditation for sure. It really did. It, it got me into... Um, yeah, exactly. The martial arts, the... Like, the fighting, the pride aspect, the like, same pride, even you know what I mean? Like I swear, Vegeta, just the, some of the things he says are actually quotable. They're really quotable, and it makes you like, you know, lift your head up a little bit. So let me think. Uh, we need a bag right now. Jason, thank you so much for that. Kawhi should have stayed. Yeah, bro, he just didn't like the cold weather. He didn't like the cold weather. And they weren't willing to trade Siakam. Yes, sir, you have to do a set amount. Yes, thank you, mister. <laughs> if you watch Sailor Moon, you guys would be... I mean, Sailor Moon was on. It was on. So let me think here, uh, Jason, and then we'll put your bulk in a different bag. I'm from Canada, I support the Raptors. Let's go, bro. I'm Canadian too, um, but I've been a long time Laker fan. But I started as a Raptors fan. Air Canada, aka Mr. Vince Carter, was the reason why I got into basketball. Uh, I think he brought a lot of Canadians into basketball. I really think he did. Okay, so next we have Swift. Let's go, Swift. You got your Cosmic Packs coming up. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's eight here. Yay! Yeah, but then one time, I was looking for a Raptors game, and I tuned into a Lakers game. And I was like, ah, I guess I'll watch this. And they were playing Portland. And the fourth quarter was just starting. And Kobe had like... I want to say he had like 18 points going into the fourth. No, he's probably had like 20 points going into the fourth. 
And I was like, all right, I'll watch this, this Kobe Bryant guy in the Lakers. Um, I was a heavy Vince Carter fan though at the time. And then I see Kobe Bryant put on a clinic. He finished the game with 65 points. It did go to overtime, but the last like two minutes of the game, he scored like shots you'll never see in today's league. You'll never see these shots in today's league. He was fading away over two, three people from the three point line on consecutive plays just to make it like even close. Even even keep it close. And then he ended up tying it on a ridiculous three. He dropped 65 points that day. And I was like, alright, this guy is uh, something special. Something serious. Something I've never seen before. Um, so, Swift. I think Swift likes to keep his codes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Man, Jason, thank you, sir. Give them codes, brother. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Guys, codes courtesy of Swift in the chat. Bam. It's gone. Uh, now I just have to stick weight training, cardiovascular training, and calisthenics. Okay. Okay, Swift. Swift has really good luck, by the way, with Cosmic, guys. One time he opened 30 packs in a row on this channel and he pulled, what was it, 15 or 16 hits? Bunch of full arts and it's from a booster box, so it was crazy. His pride. <laughs> Who's your top three NBA players of all time? Um, it's an interesting question. It's a loaded question. It's a loaded question. Oh, there we go, Swift. Jeez, man. Jeez. Yo, he pulls the gold right off the bat. Let's go. Very nice. I know I'm going to have to say Kobe, obviously number one. I really like MJ, but... I don't know, man. That's really tough. That's a really tough question for me. I had to put a lot of thought in that. <laughs> this team was like square up. <laughs> what are the drawings for the $140 high rollers? Ooh, I can show you. I'll show you in one minute after this pack. Um, there is a ton. Right after this pack, I'll show you. They're really cool. They're really nice. Start streaming 26 minutes ago and 26 like Let's go, guys. Thank you for that. If anybody's new and wants to jump in on, you see that Charizard right there? We're giving that away. Uh, the giveaway's already started. So if you want to join in on that giveaway, oh, let's go, Reverse Hollow Eevee. Uh, if you want to join in on that giveaway, all you have to do is go back two videos it, to a three minute video called Thousand Subscriber Giveaway and just comment how you found the channel. Even if you found it today, even if you found it this minute, just let me know. And you have to be subscribed. You do have to be subscribed as well. So if, if I pull the winner and you're not subscribed, you owe me a Charizard, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Andrew, let's go, bro. Yo, just watch Claude's. It's now one of my favorite Christmas movies for sure. Bro, it's definitely in my like top three, but it's the only one I've seen this year. I, uh, I didn't, you know, I got into that one day where I was like, yo, gotta watch some Christmas movies. And the only one I've seen so far is Claus. Not a great time. Not a great time. Okay. Always been a Lakers fan since I was a kid. Let's go, John. Um. Let's keep on going. My father used to own a picture of Kobe Bryant with his autograph when I was younger. Then his friend walked. Oh man, that's tough to hear. In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So Kobe, where are the other desires that you sent for Gray and the ones I had to run you up on? about every stream 
Man, who knows when I'll get those back. I have a bunch of submissions in right now, and I'm just like... One day they'll come. I love this, guys. The Kung Fu Panda Ursaring. Love the Kung Fu Panda Ursaring. I think we'll sleeve that. We'll sleeve that, too. The Lakers used to stop by a hotel across the street from the gas station. But my father used to work at. That's crazy, man. That's amazing, bro. Bam. Cosmic. Man, Lily's having the time of her life right now with these code cards being thrown everywhere. Bang. Oh, I forgot to show. I was supposed to show the, the pulls in the high roller. Kung Fu Panda Ursaring is a thing, Sky. I'm telling you. <laughs> Black Kyurum. That's a cool card to get. Very nice. Can we get a Charizard? Oh, man. And for baseball, New York Yankees as well, to have a real Derek Jeter autograph picture mark since I was a kid. I have a few baseball jerseys that I love, and they're all Yankees. Uh, no, no. One's a White Sox. Two are White Sox. I have the Michael Jordan White Sox jerseys. And then I have Derek Jeter. Um, I want to say I have one more. No, I think that's it. Derek Jeter. Um, and Michael Jordan's. Alexander Encina, how are you today? Some white lightning. I paid some dude at PSA 5k to grade my 200 cards and then back within a month. It worked. Did you know some dude at PSA? Bro, come on. You got the plug? I'm gonna start sending them straight to you. You got the other Landis fishing rod, regular reverse hollow version. Okay. Yo, Urshifu is sick. Pokerev's left ear pod. <laughs> left ear pod. I like the name. Definitely unique. And I like the little drawing that you made. What does it say? What does it say? I'm not sure, but I like it. I like it. Say hi, Gus. Hi, Gus. Bang. One, two, three, four. Oh man, Lily, you're too funny. All right, guys. So we are all we're about to be finished. Swift's packs as well. Uh, looks like he got one gold card, and that was his one pull. Jeez, that was tough. Man, these are kind of tough. At least you got the gold card. 16 packs in and they're tough. So Jared better pull the heat for us. It wasn't for that gold card though. That gold card's nice. Yo, eat so good. What's going on, bro? What's your most expensive sports item? Um, just recently added to my collection, actually. It is a Kobe Bryant signed rookie card. I'm uh, sorry, rookie uh, jersey. And I actually got it from a community member that you all know and... Uh, love and that is mr. Jeff the ref Jeff the ref um, Worked out a deal with me for a signed Kobe Bryant rookie jersey and I love it But what does it mean? <laughs> what are these oh whose are these um, these were Schwifts these were Schwifts Are the top YouTubers have their audio come through on you? <laughs> Not for sale, guys. Not for sale. That that jersey, that's gonna be with me forever. Okay, Swift. Okay, Swift. Mine's a baseball that's signed. Want to guess by who and the cost? I'm going to guess the entire Yankees squad. Or or Derek Jeter. And I'm going to guess that... Uh, um, I'm going to guess that the cost was like 5K. I'm going to guess 5K. Jeremy Novak. Right on time, my friend. Right on time. Um, so you're here now. 
And look who's next. Mr. Jeremy. Cosmic Eclipse. We're opening the High Roller right now. So these are actually the last packs from it. Um, before I open your packs, though, Jerry, let's quickly put Swift's cards away. Decent packs. I'll be back soon. I got to do for a bit. Thank you, bro. I will see you very soon. Um, Swift. I think that's like the only time Swift has had bad luck on this channel. But at least he got the gold card still. At least he got the gold card. But Schwick usually pulls the Fuego. How do you remember the price? Um, on what? They call me Encyclopedia. Swift. Thank you, Schler. Let me go ahead and get one of these. So me and my stepdad were going through some old stuff in about 1968 Batman comic. That was pretty. That's dope, man. I like that. Yay! Stream lagging for anyone else. Clap. I have the green bars. This isn't good on my end. Let's get Swifty. Okay. So guys, right before we start um, the next Eight packs, which is going out to Jeremy. We're gonna quickly go over the high roller box. Someone was asking what is in it. So two Team Rocket packs, or spots in the Team Rocket booster box break will be pulled out of there. So you get to jump in the Team Rocket booster box break. We have two PSA 10s that you'll pull. The Japanese Neo Steelix, as well as the PSA 10 Giovanni. And then, all of these as well, all of these as well will be in there. Is that one or two cards? It's one. So there's two armored Mewtwo's. All of these will be pulled out of the High Roller Custom Booster Box. Uh, and then we have the regular Custom Booster Box as well. It has some cool stuff. Bam! <laughs> Dabramento is back. Let's go. Pokeboss, thank you. A Heart is in the house as well. Did you miss anything? Um, today, we pulled one gold card. But we're about to open eight more packs of Cosmic. You full? How much a spot? No, sir. I'm not, uh, we're not full yet. That was just, like, introduced, so there's only one. There's only 16 spots total in the high roller, by the way. So, um, yeah, two Team Rocket packs are in there and a bunch of other cool stuff. But, how many spots are taken so far? One, two, three, five spots are taken so far. So there's 11 spots left. Uh, yo, Gengar in the house. What's going on, man? The baseball is 20% of my net worth. Bro, did you buy like a $400,000 Pokeball? Or not Pokeball, uh, baseball? Did you buy a, a 400, did you buy a $500,000? See, I'm basing your net worth now on how much you spend on Christmas this year. So I have the stats in my head. Yo, Steven Schwarm in the house. Let's go. Eagle Heart sales. I like it. I like it. Price per spot. The regular custom boost box is $28 a spot. The high roller is $100, $140 a spot. It's not for the faint of pockets. <laughs> Jay, Hitara, are you killing me? Did you open the Evo already? Nope. The Evo, um, so, here, let me show you guys quickly. The itinerary for today. Um, where are the Evo? So the 12 people that pulled Evo on the last custom booster box, your packs won't be open today. The packs that will be open today is the rest of them. So the six hidden fates, and then 
the 12 three pack of Vivid Voltage, and then we'll do the Evo on the next stream. The baseball is signed by Babe Ruth. It costs 2.3 million. Jeez, Biscuit, you're balling, bro. That's only 20% of your, oh man, let's go. I wasn't expecting Babe Ruth. Like that was the first name that popped in my head and I was like, this guy doesn't have a multi-million dollar baseball. But you just proved me wrong. Leg, man, guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Jeez. Frame skipping has returned. Bro, biscuit man. What do you uh what do you want for that baseball in Pokemon turn out? Okay. <laughs> Back to normal? Okay, okay. Leg spike, leg spike. I'd retire with that. I would use it to buy some Shopify stock. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then this one we had the same kind of issue. Look at that. Jeez. Okay. Alright, Jerry, let's go, bro. Boot, that's insane. That is insane. It's all relative as well. If I had a hundred million and someone offered me a Kobe Bryant signed basketball, I might drop two million on it. I might drop two. Mm, if I had a hundred million, I don't know if I'd drop two million on it. I probably would. I probably would. Maybe. That's a tough question. That's a tough question. Uh, so Jeremy likes to hand out his codes to the peoples. There you guys go. One, two, three, four, five. I may try. It. Okay, wait one sec. Would I buy in with a PSA nine air drive for fossil hollow work and thirty vivid voltage sleep pass for another? Um, like yes and no. Yes and no. So let's say you guys send me some PSA cards. Like I have a deal going on with Pokeboss right now, and a few others. Um. But let's say you sent me a PSA card to sell. I would have to get it first before we can make any any possible trade. Because I actually have had oh, only two times, but still two times too many. I've had uh, trades that I've made through the channel or purchases I've made through the channel. And um, the people that I bought this stuff off are MIA now. And I'm not saying that, like, that would happen anymore or anyone in the chat right now, but just to be completely safe now. I kind of oh let's go you got the weevil I'd have to have it in hand first so wait what did biscuit say I might trade that baseball and 1 million cash on top for a baseball <laughs> love it bro love it I might trade that baseball and 1 million cash on top for a baseball signed by Babe Ruth and the whole team bro you must love Babe Ruth eh uh, Babe Ruth hit his first home run in Toronto Ooh, let's go Sean Price Biscuit, just get the two million call it a day, says Richard. <laughs> we'll buy into the regular box PayPal or yes sir. Yeah, you just follow the instructions in the in the description of this video and then bam. Um I might just trade baseball signed by Bath Ruth and his whole team for a baseball signed by Bath Ruth, his whole team, I ain't sure. Boom skirt in the house. How's it going man? Red Flare, let's go. I already have a dude lined up to buy that baseball. I might buy for some, jeez, man. <laughs> that ball went to Lake Ontario and was never found. Man, did he hit it that hard? Or is that a joke? Was that a joke? Caden, would you offer anything for a PSA 10 Hall of and Fossil set? Um, I'm not really looking for one, but I would. Like That's a card that I would buy at the right price, right? But I'm not actively looking for a Lapras right now. You mean you sent them and then they ghosted you? Yeah, you guys might remember one of them. I don't even know if I should call them out, but I kind of should because, like, you know, where's my stuff and where's my messages back and stuff? You guys, some of you did business with him. Some of you know who I'm, like, who his name would be if I said it. But most of you don't, I think. Most of you wouldn't know who he is. He kind of just came in, was around for like three, four weeks, and then disappeared 
Uh, let me see. What in the heck would you do for a living? Yeah. <laughs> How do you buy a booster pack? Davian, exotic animals. I like that. Do you have an exotic animal channel? Uh, to buy stuff, you can just go directly into the... What's it called? Into the... Yes, thank you, Steven. Exactly what Steven said. Dabber Mender says cap. <laughs> Can't even spend a thousand. Can you imagine doing this? Was it pure? No, no. Pure is a legend, bro. Pure is a legend. It was uh, someone from Pallet Town. Someone from Pallet Town. If you want a regular spot, pay it's twenty eight dollars a spot. Um, and state what you spot, what you want. Yes, sir. Exactly. I don't know if you've seen on this Elise channel. There's a guy. I forgot what country, but he makes he made real life custom Pokeballs. That's pretty sick. That's dope, man. Ooh, Pokemon Card Squad in the house. Let's go. That's why I still on PSA 10 was in the custom twice. No, no. Pure was a legend. Pure, he had those cards with me forever. And then decided not to ship them. Decided to offer them to me as a lot. Um, so I actually bought them back from him. I sent him a bunch of money for uh, basically every card that he had here. Just chilling. Well, I guess y'all wonder what I do now. Got lucky with loads of stocks in Amazon and Apple when they were really cheap and started up an oil company sold for 60 million. Then we started the company. Let's go, man. You restarted the company too, bro. Oil game is uh, a whole nother level. I heard the intricacies of um, of that recently and I'm just like, I'm not for me, not for me. There's a lot of stuff that I do want to start up eventually and things that I want to invest in. Uh, an oil company is not one of them from what I heard. So I respect you making uh, one work and going at it again and making that work, that's that's tough, man. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure uh, what Pure is doing, but I hope everything's going well with him. I, I really, really like Pure. Pal Towns and Pokemon. <laughs> His name openly had uh, Pallet Town in it. It was someone from Pallet Town. Hopefully he's just like, well, message me today if he's listening, or maybe I'll get a message from him one of these days. Who knows? Dustin Moore. Yeah. They say if we're actually caught, you'd be the most expensive collectible before now. Bro, it definitely went. Where'd it go, though? Where'd it go? After those many years, and. Man, that that ball is nowhere to be found. Imagine finding that. Let's go, Jerry. Yeah, that's the thing. Stock trading is uh, very interesting. Oh yeah, you got the Mimikyu too. Beautiful. It's very interesting. Um, most people only lose money in it because they sell, right? And most people, even when they make money in it, they sell too quick. So to have the capital to have it being held in there and to have the, it's not really willpower, but to have the resolve, I guess, to keep it in there for years and years, even after 10 times your valuation, 50, 100, that's huge, it's huge. So I, I've sold Shopify, bought back into Shopify. I've sold um, Very, bought back into Very. I sold Tesla, bought back into Tesla. So it's like, even though I made money every time, when I bought back into it, you know, I could have, does, does it reverse everything? Did I, you know, make mistakes on the way? The first company took me 10 years to get to that value, and now in four years of restarting his value at 273 mil. Jeez, Biscuit. Do you need uh, marketing? No, you don't need anything. <laughs> Another one, do input. Um, green code's better than white right now. Seriously, eh? He was in coal, and, so wait, my uncle kind of did the same thing. He was in coal, then sold now into oil and racehorses. Jeez, that's cool. 
Had a horse in the Kentucky Derby. As Rudy says, stay the course. Facts, man. Cosmic is an amazing set for real. It's so good. It's so good. Sky, I agree with that. Stephen Pondry has so much value. Has everything you want from modern set. Facts, man. Look at that. Reverse Hollow EV again. I hope you know what I mean by Rudy. I have a feeling I do, but... Now you got me second guessing myself. Would you buy bulk on on comments? No, sir. I would not. I would not. I donate all my bulk right now. Green codes again. That's a tough 24 packs. Unless we can get the Pikachu here. Last pack magic. Pokemon bathroom man. <laughs> if you need a massage therapist, I'm your guy, biscuit. <laughs> Too good, Richard. Yo, come on, Jeremy. That's sick. Three secret rares out of eight packs. Dang, bro. Weevil's too sick. Dang, man, hopefully the damage wasn't that bad, so you'll be doing collabs with Aoki. <laughs> damage on what? Yo, what's going on? Limit, limit. Okay, okay. All right, so very nice, Jerry. You got the Weevil. You got another Weevil. So you got a badly centered Weevil and a decently centered Weevil. You got the Mimikyu, fan favorite. You got the Reverse Hollow Pikachu and Reverse Hollow Eevee. Jeez, bro. You cleaned up. That's where the fire was hiding. Seriously, man. Wow, Reverse Hollow Pikachu and Eevee. Dang, bro. <laughs> you got the Buzz Swole. Steven Pond, you gotta stay head strong with your points. That's the problem. Don't panic at any side of dips. Facts. Yeah, all my stocks are long term. I just buy good companies. I I don't do the ups and downs. The buy high. Or sorry, buy uh, sell high, buy low. I just buy and hold. That's the Warren Buffett investment strategy. Evolutions. Um, guess I should be looking at you guys for future investments. I'll bet that starving on slate for now. Hopefully, money in the future. I I'm eventually actually gonna plan on or planning on making like some sort of investment channel, just where I can t talk about certain companies and why I think they're good investments in the future. Cause honestly, guys, a lot of my stocks have done well, but I've had such like little amounts of money in there that. You know, a hundred dollars ten times. Uh, I'm walking away with a thousand bucks, right? But uh, I've had a lot that I've done over ten times, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to sharing the hours of research it takes to get uh, the insight for some of those. I think that'd be valuable. Richard, go get some sleep, fellas. Everyone, have a great night and Christmas. If I don't see you before then, peace, man. Thank you so much, Richard. No singles today. Um, not yet. I might open it back up once we finish all this, but right now, the Fates Collide battle is the only thing that, like, we already have three people in the Fates Collide battle. We only need eight total, so we can get that going tonight. Um, Jeremy, thank you, sir. Jer, Jer. That'd be cool, says Mel Yeti. Let's go. Dracofu is the worst. <laughs> Who are you investing in? So, right now I have Berry. Uh, a very good food company, which I, like right now I think they're at like six bucks. But when, when I was talking about it a month and a half ago when people were asking, it was at two bucks. Um, and I think it'll easily get to a hundred. It's like a plant-based company that in my opinion is gonna rival Beyond Meat. 
Um, I really love Shopify. I love Shopify. If you guys think Amazon is good, just look into Shopify and you see them going on the same path. Shopify is the future in my opinion. Um, there's PGM. PGM is pretty good. Tesla is great. Uh, Neo. Neo is amazing. Uh, C Limited. C Limited is strange to me, but still has such a big market cap that I don't know, man. I don't know about C, but I'd still take a risk on C. Um, there's a few more that I would take a risk on. Uh, yo, Saint Germain. You ever, no, I did not. That's who I never got the cards from, and I've been talking. Well, not talking. I've messaged him a few times on it, and just no reply, nothing. So I was like, okay, you stole my money. How does the Fates Collab Battle work? Let me show you. So, where's the Fates Collab Battle? Mr. Caden Ferguson. Um, so three people have already bought in, right? So Swift would battle one, one pack versus Sniper. Whoever has the better pulls on their one pack moves on to the next round, where they'll get us another pack waiting for them, right? So V Dot will play whoever, and they'll move on to the next round. Then they do a one pack battle right here, one pack battle, and whoever wins that moves on to the final. Um, same thing goes on this side, and then in the final, whoever wins that wins the championship gets all 14 packs worth of uh, pulls and also gets an amazing rare where is it also gets this card here Japanese version so the original one that came out yo Birdman Productions let's go super weak sauce man exactly basically says I refuse to invest in Tesla that's the thing bro that was me up until it was like I think six seven months ago it was like 400 bucks I bought it at 400 this is way before it went way up and then split again but I bought it at 400 sold it at 900 just because I wanted to put it all in something else which I, oh no I think I put it onto Pokemon so it was good it was good I put it into the channel at the time but then uh, then it went it kept going up I think it hit like 1800 or something and then it split and then it, it keeps going up since just like I don't know man I don't know Elon's got to have his hands in everything though eventually so it's like it's it's more FOMO it's more FOMO with uh, with Tesla it really is more FOMO with Tesla all my homies trying to convince me to invest in Tesla never invest in what your friends suggest <laughs> yeah either way never make an investment unless it's you it's your money so you know you can use um, use your resources so if it's your friends in stocks if they've been trading for stocks definitely use their perspective or hear them out at least and then do your own research on top of that every youtube video um is more research but it doesn't mean it's the end all be all and as long as you are making the final sale final purchase what if your friends are cfas and <laughs> steven dropping facts yo nate harrison i regret selling my test stocks before i shut up feels bad yeah me too but that's been a lot of stocks for me which is crazy but um yeah warren buffett hasn't sold some stocks for like 50 60 years or 40 50 years no 50 60 years is probably accurate for him hey sorry i had to pause the video buddy jumped in the car got you over the car radio when's the high roller opening whenever this fills up so we have five people that bought spots in so far there's gotta be 16 there's gotta be 16 spots okay so next guys we have Hidden Fates and Vivid Voltage Time. So these are 36 packs of Vivid Voltage and 6 packs of Hidden Fates. We'll open the 6 packs of Hidden Fates first. The people that have Hidden Fates are Sniper, Jacob, Phoenix66. We have Nerdy Noob, MM Shirk, and Timo. And the rest is vivid. You could still technically be a more common investor without their advice. Yeah, if you did all the research yourself, for sure. I like hearing everybody. Aliyah Torres. Let's go. What's going on, Aliyah? Uh, penny stocks are nice, Kobe, but the risk reward ratio is not for most people. Yeah, like, I'll buy a penny stock if it's an IPO. Um, but otherwise, I mean, not too into those. If it's an amazing company that I want to invest in and it's 
in the pennies, then I'll buy that. But I don't do day trading. I don't really do Forex. I don't do any of that stuff. And day trading requires paying tax, income tax, growth stocks. You, uh, you just build on an appreciating asset. So you only pay tax when you sell it or pull it out. You know what I mean? Nerdy noob, let's go in the house. How you doing today? Jacob, Hidden Fates. All right. I'm the way past penny stocks. I bought a penny stock company or two in zone for 150K plus profit. Jeez. That's what, uh, what top loaders do you use? Um, Ultra Pro. I use Ultra Pro top loaders. TFSA is my guy. Yes, sir. Yeah. It only, like, even when you start your TFSA, you only have $5,000 of, uh, of room before you pay taxes on top of it. But if you're paying, if you're buying and selling stocks every day, it actually counts as, like, pay sales tax on every single one of those transactions especially if you do it enough so eventually it's, it's still some people are that's that's their full job 24 hours a day or not 24 hours we know what I mean like seven days a week they're day traders for me I'm completely different and there's not really any right answer you know what I mean you can be a growth stock investor you can be uh, you can be in penny stocks you can be um, what's it called a daily ups and downs. What's that? What's the word I'm looking for? Either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there's not really a, a right answer. The only right answer is to get into stocks, in my opinion. Um, he told me that he would sell me an evil box, but never heard from him. Oh yeah, bro. There's oh, there's so much of that. There's so much of that. Oh, let's go. Jacob likes to keep his code. So Jacob, pulling a shiny Beldum and a non-hollow Snorlax. Let's go. Busy says Kobe uses the best top loaders ever. <laughs> Jason, facts, man. I would definitely get some Hidden Fates, guys, before it's too late. Beautiful pack. Yeah, but eventually, guys, I'll make that channel. Like for for something like that, you, you don't want to freestyle too much. You want to have concrete um, information in there with no guessing, no like paraphrasing too much. You want to be super accurate with that kind of stuff because the people that are listening to your channel, the people that are are likely gonna make you know financial investments. And if you were I'm not I don't I'm not gonna claim to ever be a financial advisor, but if I'm giving information out that people are gonna use to go ahead and invest into stocks, I wanna make sure that, that information is hundred percent accurate. Jacob, let's go. J Tower says it's pretty. Oh I just put J Hitaru. <laughs> I'm just gonna put Jacob under you, and let's go. Ikigai. Do you think Shining Fates will lower the cost of Hidden Fates? Not at all, bro. Not at all. I don't think it'll even touch Hidden Fates prices. Hidden Fates has been reprinted like five, five times already, five or six times in the short amount of time it's been out, and every time it's still like really hard for a lot of people to get. It barely affects the price at all. It's still one of the best sets of the last ten years, right? And Shining Fates is not nearly as good as it. Shining Fates is going to be great. Shining Fates is almost sold out before it's even released. But uh, I don't think Hidden Fates is going anywhere. I think Hidden Fates is going up. All the shiny cards are pretty. They really are. Alright, next person we got is Timo. Let's go, Timo. Ooh, Charizard artwork. I got a lot of hidden fates, aka a whole pallet full of booster boxes. You mean like, uh, BTBs? 
Uh, so Timo, Timo, let's go Timo. One, two, three, four. Pointing Paris, the best Paris, guys. I had wishful thinking about it, a lot of hidden shiny. Yeah, man, for sure. That's not the reverse. That's the re Oh, man, come on, buddy. Do we destroy it? No, we're not going to destroy this one card there. Kang is gone. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, guys, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. So... I asked this in the Discord today, and I asked it on PokéRev's live stream. Um, if you had to pick a Mount Rushmore for Pokémon, okay, so so not your four favorite, okay, not your four favorite, just the four greatest Pokémon. If Pokémon had to pick them, so based on like impact, based on like things they've done for Pokémon, based on just like clout. Um, so the the four Mount Rushmore Pokemon, what would you choose? Not your favorite, again, not your favorite. Or else I'd have like Hitmonlee's and Hitmonchan's on there and stuff. But I was thinking like Charizard, Mewtwo. I was thinking Pikachu, but I don't know. I was thinking Pikachu still though. The original OG starter is in every single TV show, every season, and always in Ash's inventory. And then the fourth one, I was like. Blastoise, Lugia, Dragonite, Mew. Mew is a good one. Steve and uh, Palm Tree saying Mew in there. But what do you guys think? What's your, what's your four Mount Rushmore Pokemon? Teemo. I think all stars is better than those two. That's very interesting. I think shiny face will get the hype and attention the majority of consumers and lower the demand for hidden face. Very interesting as well. Ooh, stack collectors in the house. So Sky says Pikachu, Zard, Mewtwo, Lugia. Can't go wrong with that list. Ooh. Sean Price says Blastoise over Zard. Ooh. Stack collector says Bulbasaur. It's if only it's the 30k variety, then maybe we can talk. Um, I like that though, Gengar. Original episode, ho. -Oh. What's that in the sky? Cosmo Kimon. What's going on, bro? Sorry, Blastoise, Venusaur, and Lugia. That's a good. That's a good list. Trubbish, Solrock, and Alcremi for sure. Dang. <laughs> Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho, Mew. Wow, bro. You just took Charizard right out of the list. Eh? You're like, no Charizard. This guy says Trubbish. <laughs> yeah, so... After you guys tell me your top four Mount Rushmore Pokemon. So not your favorite. Just the top four greatest Pokemon. Um, let me know your top four worst. Give me your top four worst. I was thinking Farfetch'd, 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 and Farfetch'd, but... Who knows? Who knows? When does Hidden Fates 2.0 come out? It's Hidden Fates 0.5, my friend. It's Hidden Fates 0.5. Shining Fates? It's not really up to par with Hidden Fates, but um, I think they said March 10th. Birdman says, oh, I read that one. Pokemon card squad says Pikachu, Charizard, Lugia, Mewtwo. That's a nice list. Um, Stack Collector says Bulba, Charmander, Pikachu, and Squirrel. That's a good list, too. That's a good list. Uh, Pika, Zard, Mewtwo, and... Nico says, do you have any spare Vivid that I can buy? Unfortunately, I don't, my friend. I do not have any right now. Gengar says, Slow King. Mew, Celebi. February 21st. Uh, so this is going out to Phoenix. One, two, three, four. Aline says, Rapidash. Pikachu, Charizard, Eevee. Nice. Controversial throwing Rapidash in there. Okay, I see you, Aline. This guy says, Farfetch, Raticate, Trubbish, and Grimer for the worst. <laughs> no love for Grimer, eh? Pikachu for the show, Volcarona for the games. Wow, okay. PvP, Charizard for the impact. Ditto, it's been 
in all the animes, if I'm not mistaken. Dang, bro, I like those stats. Okay, shiny whim pod. We'll take that. Let's go, Phoenix. Oh, double hit pack. Giovanni's exile. Let's go. Very, very nice. Pikachu for the show. So that's when the ETV released at least. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Farfetch, Surfetch, Spiro, and Furo. <laughs> So you could may need to be a fifth like the hidden leaf village added. Ooh, I like that. Did you open the custom? If so, have you pulled mine yet? Cause Mokimon. Um No, if you're vivid, you we have not opened yet. Yours is gonna be very short. These are all the vivid voltage packs, 36 packs, and we'll be getting to that so soon. Wow, that's a nice Giovanni's exile. That was clean. Um, I saw a case of Vivid on eBay going for 808. That's a fair price to be honest. It's a fair price. It's a very fair price. Vivid guys, um, I found some trade secrets on it recently. And it was like, it's cool because we actually were talking about it the other day when I was like, guys, just because Vivid Voltage jumped in there when there was already reprints happening of other sets. And then this year where all these new sets are coming out, um... Vivid Voltage might be classified as one of those sets that didn't get printed very much. And I heard PokeRev say in his podcast with Pokey Radar um, that Vivid Voltage, they actually didn't print everything that they wanted to in that one print run. It was like cut short like 50 or 60%. So it was already cut short on printing. Everyone wanted it. It's already like 160, 170 at Booster Box right now, American guys. And when are we gonna have time to reprint it in the future? Maybe after the twenty, like after next year, after twenty twenty one, they might have some time to reprint it in twenty twenty two and stuff. But as of right now, I mean, um, vivid voltage. I look for it to go up, continue to go up. Yo, Phoenix sixty six. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay, wait, about seventy booster boxes in face giving away. Man, that's crazy. I think you mean uh, hit, uh, ETBs though, they don't have Hidden Fate uh, booster boxes, but unless you meant like uh, the, the tins or something like that. Um, nice, you guys are putting Hidden Fates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much are the fossil packs? Um, I don't have any left. We have one fossil pack that was pulled in the last custom booster box, and that is going to Jason. And we'll be opening it actually right after the vivid voltage, so that'll be open today. Brother, I can get you a baby bus, booster box for 130. Yeah, that's a great price, man. That's a great price. Thanks for the information. Thank you. Saj, Dewar, Ramen, Nafis. Let's go. Um, so, Phoenix. You guys, my missing stuff. Yo, Mitchell in the house. Let's go, Mitch. Yeah, Greninja is definitely a fan favorite, eh? Alright, next we have... The Sniper! Let's go, Snipe. Sniper, no sniping. Let's see what the Sniper just sniped, guys. I bought them from the guy who made booster out of packs, that's why I'm... Oh, okay, cool. Um, Sniper likes to keep his codes. One, two, three. Here's a code from my friend there. What's the powers beyond tin? When did I get that? Race for turbulence. I hit the cam. Uh, the anime makes you love Pokemon that are easy to hate. Otherwise, Jay Hitaru facts. Like I like Quagsire now because I re I've been rewatching the anime. And what is this? And um, 
The Quagsire episode was just so sick. Any spots left in the pack battle? Yes, sir, Cosmo. Yes, sir, there is. There is uh, full spots. No, not full spots. Five spots left. Five spots left. Oh, sniper. Really no sniping this time. Jeez. Sniper didn't snipe, guys. What's going on here today? Guys, I feel like the music's way too low, by the way. I'm gonna restart the whole playlist and put it up. Put it up, put it up. Tell me if it's too loud, though. If it's too loud, I'll put it down. Sniper. Sniperino. Whoa, people take the code so fast to try and fail, man. Yeah, man, it's tough out here for, for people that want codes. Just because you always have competition, right? So, if anything, it'll improve your speed of typing. Because I had the, the QR codes. I had the QR codes. Tyler, let's go, bro. Next person we have is... Ooh, MM. MM Shook, let's go. Random question, but do you collect other stuff? Stuff. Sorry. Random question, but you collect other stuff like paintings or something. Um, not paintings. I collect shoes. I haven't put any money in it in the past like two years. But I have a lot of cool sneakers, in my opinion, at least. And then collect jerseys like crazy I have like 50 at least 50 Lakers jerseys but 40 of them are uh, wait which pack is this? MMs um, at least 40 of them are Kobe Bryant jerseys um, that's the only thing I collect really that's the only thing I collect jerseys, shoes, and Pokemon but I want to get into uh, basketball cards now. Now that I know the actual trading card hobby well, or yeah, now that I know way more than before, um, and I know the basketball players on the cards more than the cards themselves. I don't know what prism or mosaic or any of that stuff means, but I know what the players mean, so I can predict players that are going to be good, probably better than most in my humble opinion. Um, so I really want to get into basketball cards. Uh, let me see, let me see. So funny thing, I was looking to prove my save with Pokemon stuff and I found three first edition to base boosted boxes. I bought a few years back for 20k bucks. Jeez, man. LEC Commando, how's it going, my friend? Yeah, we got Nico Gravel saying, Oh, you just feel for custom use the same email as Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, regular custom booster box. Um... You know it's on both of them. Yo, Cosmo, let's go, bro. What else did I miss? I heard it's different. Oh, Mellow Yeti. Let's go, man. So both you guys are in the, the battle now. Let me get these cards put away. MM, unfortunately, you didn't hit there. You got a, a Psyduck and a Lapras. We'll sleep it up. Oh, I'm on top chat, guys. No wonder. Jeez. Yeah, it just changed the order of everything. That's cool. That's cool. Das auto. I'm good, how about you? Man, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Very nice to have you here once again. We just opened almost all the Hidden Fates. One more pack of Hidden Fates, then we're going on to... Vivid Voltage. 36 packs of Vivid Voltage are about to be opened up. Palmtree dropping the stats. Okay, okay, and last but not least is 
Okay, don't open any more packs for two minutes. I'm getting a drink. Sounds good, bro. I'll put. Oh, Nerdy Noob, you're up. Oh, Jay Hitaru. Two spots in the Battle Royale. One for me, one for Jacob. Let's go. So I'll go ahead and I'll just update the spots on here. Um, we'll do this in order. So, Mellow Yeti, your opponent is a V dot. And then we have Cosmo. Oh, guys, so one spot left in the Battle Royale. Only one spot left. Um, so, Mellow Yeti. And then we have. Let me fix that for. Okay. And then over here we have. Oh, Nerdy Noob got it. Alright, guys, no more spots left in the. In the Battle Royale. My god, can I see the high rollers? I got you, man. Give me not even one minute. So let me put in all the spots here, guys. I'll show you who got in this. So V dot Mellow Yeti. Oh wow, Timo. Let's go, bro. Two high lords, one times custom. Let's go, man. Appreciate you jumping on. Um, let me see here. Mellow Yeti. And then we got Cosmo. After Cosmo is Jay Hitaru and Jacob. Oh, so wow, the way it worked out, Jay Hitaru and Jacob, you're not battling each other in the first round. But you'll have to battle each other in the second round if you if you win. If you both win. Oh, that's crazy. Three, we got Jacob. Four, we have Nerdy Noob. So I'll show you guys the tournament bracket here. Wow, this is cool. Let's go. Uh, Pokeball sounds good, bro. So, yeah. I might as well use this time right now to tell you guys about what Pokeboss is trying to get in on. But we're gonna have a major tournament style like this. Uh, a lot of, like, there's some there's some people already in it. But it's gonna be 16 people instead of eight each, okay? And it's gonna, every person is gonna be um, putting up an evolution booster box. So the grand prize will have ten thousand dollars worth of booster boxes and we'll also have some sort of like i don't know first place prize as well some sort of first place prize as well but um that's gonna be cool but yeah for now guys so the fates collide battle royale swift is up against sniper v dot is up against mellow yeti we have cosmo against j hitaru and we got jacob versus nerdy noob we will do this right after the custom booster box. Um, all right, cool, cool. So let me see, Cosmo. Also want to spot number eight in the custom. Number eight is taken, unfortunately, Cosmo. Let me know what spot you'd like other than that. Um, I have to get Nico in here. I sent the money for Kobe. Yo, sounds good, Nico. Uh, let me know what number you want in here as well. And let me think. Mitchell, I gotta show Mitchell the high roller. So let me see here. One sec, sorry guys. Cosmo's got it. Lily, Lily, get down, please. Hey. Oh my god, one sec, guys. All my stuff's about to fall over. Lily, come here. There you go. All right, we're good, we're back. Okay. All right, so Cosmo is gonna t says number seven, beautiful. Okay, so we got Cosmo down there. We have two times high roller, one, yo, Timo, once again, thank you so much for that. Uh, Nico says number six, beautiful. And then we have to get a spot for Timo here. We'll give you spot 30. Timo. Okay. Tyler, right? Um, okay, very cool. Dang, I know you're doing pack battles. Yes, sir. Uh, so, how many are we battling with? It'll be one pack per round. So, let's say. Oh, V dot, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Uh, 
quick mode, please select any spot for the custom wish box. Let's go ahead and put you on 34. B dot. Yeah, B dot. Everyone knows you by B dot now. Let's go. Oh, Mozart in the building. What is going on? So, I think I got everybody on here now, eh? Did I get Timo? Yeah, I got Timo. I got V dot. Um, I got Timo. I got V dot. Yeah, I think we're good there. So that is that's good. And then we have the Fates Clyde Battle Royale. That's all filled up. But I can make a second bracket. I can make a second bracket. But for now. Oh man, did we do this all during Nerdy Noob's turn? Jeez, guys. And I still haven't even showed Mitchell what's in the high roller. Alright, Mitchell, my bad, bro. Let me go ahead and show you what's in the high roller. In the High Roller Custom Booster Box, you got a PSA 10 Giovanni, you have a PSA 10 Skelix from Neo, and then you have all these as well. Oh, you have two Team Rocket Booster Packs as well. Uh, it, you'll get your name in the, in the Booster Box break that's over here. Once we have 36 people in there, we're opening the Team Rocket Booster Box. Um, but, we have... This is also being pulled. That's being pulled. That's being pulled. Two of these guys are being pulled. One of those. One of those. One of those. One of those. Another one of those. Another one of those. So we got a lot of Charizards. So it's basically a Charizard slash Mewtwo slash Team Rocket custom booster box. There's only 16 spots to pull out of that booster box and um, every pull is something good so you won't walk away disappointed. Kobe I only said don't open a pack. Yeah seriously I, I took that two minutes and made it like 10 minutes eh? B dot thank you appreciate that. Um, I prefer them with the right corner. Okay okay all right so new to you I'm so sorry once again let's go ahead and open your pack here. Awesome. It's it's nice. It's nice. Yo, Big Ben, what is going on? <laughs> Yo, Sniper, I still saved some for uh, a different box. I took a couple out and I was like, uh, we'll combine this with some of Trainer Trey stuff and some of my stuff. Throw some Team Rocket packs in there, you know what I mean? Uh, so one, two, three, four. The sniper came the through. And the that Giovanni in the house, yes, sir. Uh, someone quite intelligent said, uh, okay, let's go. No way you just pulled this. I've been looking for this for a while. Wow. Jeez, no way. Yo, that's so sick. Oh man, really good pull, nerdy noob. Hidden Fates is your thing, eh? You seem to pull all the fire from Hidden Fates. Jeez. Wow. And the non hollow Bills Analysis. Wow, that's a good card, guys. I think it's like, what, 150? Is it 200 bucks yet in a 10? Someone's gotta let me know. Is it 200 and a 10 yet? Wow, what a pull. The charge took me a lot of packs pull. It's tough, man. It's a tough pull. Even the Charmander's a really tough pull in this set. Jeez. Wow. Let's freaking go. Let's go, dirty noob. Yo, Sky, thank you so much. Dropping in some code chats for the co people. I'm super stoked. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Big 
very, very nice, guys. Those were some good hidden fades pulls for six packs, eh? Jeez. Okay, guys. So, we're done all the hidden fate stuff. Uh, I put everybody on the high. Did I put. I didn't put Timo. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yo, did Timo. Timo, thank you, bro. Once again. Did you want me to put you on particular spots on here? Or do you want me just to make it random? Patricia Hunter in the house. Thank you for joining us once again. We're about to open 36 packs of Vivid Voltage, guys. So, um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two people are not in here because you have duplicates. And if your name is NM Shirk or Oh, I took both of these out. So MM Shirk is one of them, and then I think Timon, yeah. So if your name is NM Shirk or Timon, if I pull your one card, that means we're opening you six packs total. Let's go. How much for the hidden, Kobe? Um, I only had them in the regular custom booster box. I don't have enough real. I could, I could technically sell you a tin, but you wouldn't be happy with the tag. No, let's just keep it. Let's keep it with the regular custom booster boxes for now. So, what's the next movie recommendation? Ooh, I can probably think of. Oh, have you seen? Do you want a kind of messed up one, or do you want like same kind of style? Do you want like a family vibe? Do you, what do you want? What do you want? Let me know. All right, so we're gonna shuffle this. That card looks amazing. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. I gotta get me one of those now. Just shuffling these up, guys. Sky dropping in the code cards like nothing. Let's go. Andrew, guys. Andrew watched a few of my movie recommendations that he never saw before, and he enjoyed both. One of them was... Uh, one of them was Beowulf. You guys remember Beowulf? Beowulf is a, I want to watch Beowulf tonight. Mozart, if, you, if you're down in a little bit, I'll, I'll download it and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check that out. Um, and then he saw, he saw Claw's great Christmas movie. L-A-B in the house. In the cut, I should say. What's going on? Oh man, let's go. Have you seen all seven Rocky movies? All seven, all seven. I've seen all the Rocky movies multiple times. If you haven't seen The Professional, it's a good movie. Also called Leon. Leon The Professional, let's go. Um, I've heard of it a hundred times, but I don't think I actually got into watching it yet. Nico says that's my dad's favorite movie. Leon The Professional? Goodfellas is a couple Goodfellas I've seen like a. Whoa. Too many times. Not too many times, but I still love it. Average price on the Shine Chameleon is 180. That's a great price. It's so hard to pull. I wouldn't even sell for 180 if I was you. I wouldn't sell for 180. And that's if it comes back to 10, right? All right, guys, let's go. Maybe a voltage shine. Oh, our very own Saint Germain with three packs of vivid voltage. Let's go. Uh, I'll just take them from the front. I'll keep going from the front. One, two, three. Uh, Timo didn't tell me a spot. So, Timo, if you're here right now, I'm just gonna drop that for you there. Let me know what spots you'd like. If if you don't care at all, I'll, I'll figure out just random spots for you. Nico says Beowulf. Okay, let's go. It's so sick, man. Uh, Sean Price says it's one of the best action movies ever. Okay, man. Leon Professionals is an awesome movie. I gotta watch it, bro. Have you seen The Irishman? I've seen The Irishman. Love The Irishman. Love The Irishman. Have you guys ever seen To Kill an Irishman? That was a really good movie, but it's like, it's low key good. It's like, a lot of people might not even like it, but I loved it. I remember watching it twice, back to back. Claws is definitely a good Christmas movie. So yeah, Claws guys, if you haven't seen Claws for a Christmas movie, it's it's not the same as, uh, not the same as the one that you might be thinking of, like, uh, I forget his name. It's, it's a cartoon though. It's about a guy that does like mailing and stuff. Um, Kobe, can I have number six and number nine from the high roller? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me go ahead and put you down for those right away. Wait, six. 
six and number nine. Beautiful. And then you have one in the regular box as well. Let me know what you want there. Okay, St. Germain, let's go. Oh, in Bruges, bro, with Colin Farrell. That was hilarious as a kid. Hey, we're going to step out of the stream. We'll have to see my, see if my Bengals can actually beat the Steelers. Let's go, bro. I'll check in for you when the fossil is ready. That sounds good, my man. Sounds good. Yo, John, thank you so much. Hope you have a great night as well. Uh, okay. St. Germany. To kill an Irishman, I should watch that next. No, no, don't watch that next. Don't watch that next. Watch. Have you seen Memento? Have you seen Memento? Bulk to the donation, please. Man, thank you, sir. And codes for the peeps. Dang, bro. Beowulf is a great movie. I'll take spot number nine in the regular box. Sounds good. Gengar. I love Boondocks taking movies. The first two Expendables. Yeah, those are both good movies as well. Okay, Samurai on the first one. Donation bulk. You know, Kill the Irishman is based on true story. I know, bro. I know. Kill the Irishman is a good movie. Uh, am I missing anything? Let me go back up. But for real, the lock stock and two smoking barrels. Yeah, I've heard about that. Heard about that. Okay, Saint. Okay, Saint. Code to the peoples. One, two, three. Memento is a good movie. It is. That's the one I was asking, like. Did you want a messed up movie? Because I can tell you about Memento. Um, let me think. What are some really good movies that... Hmm, let me think. Let me think. Meet the Parents is always great. If you're looking for a funny movie. Well, you've probably seen that a hundred times. My break, man. Electrode. Okay. Alright. Wait, what is that pack? What is, oh, this is a stack of cards. I was about to put your bulk on there. If you're older, we should like one of the train spot. I heard train spot is good. 300, sick for sure. Gladiators, OG movie. St. Germain says amazing rare incoming. Alright, alright. I think he's right. Shower Eevee. Uh, tough packs. You actually just walked away with an Eevee. An electrode. You got a mud brain. You got a potato. The potato's kind of cute. Can I have some return for the regular? Yes, sir, you can. Interview with a vampire. That sounds cool. Hey, quote, my life is based on a movie. <laughs> Bro, you gotta hire writers. Uh, let me see. Um, can I have number 10? Yes, sir. Hey, Kobe, do you think Dream League is a good box? It's kind of the Japanese version of Cosmic Eclipse as the full art trainer cards. I think it's still pretty good. I was looking at that today. I think they're still like, what, 60 bucks? 60, 70 bucks? So it's decent, it's decent. And the print quality is gonna be nice on it. The supply of it is not gonna be as high as Canadian versions, or sorry, English versions. Um, yeah, it's not a bad set, it's not a bad set. I would probably look into Tag Team All-Stars right now though, before people catch up on the price and it goes up like crazy. Well, all good, but man, I'm sorry about that. Ibrahim in the house. Ty and Low Show, let's go. Interview with the Vampire is one of my favorites. I gotta watch it now. Goodwill Hunting is one of my favorites for sure. Love Goodwill Hunting. Love Goodwill Hunting. Sick movie. Uh, Saint Germain, thank you, bro. Oh! We got the legend himself, Mr. Polish Rob. How's it going, my man? How is the charity stream today? Saint Germain. Alright, very nice. Everyone's saying, uh, Melietta even says, Yeah, I love Interview with a Vampire. I gotta watch that now. Bro, 
Broom Stalkers, Dracula is also agreeing with me. You guys are bringing in the vampire movies now. I see. I see. Okay. My life is like the Wolf of Wall Street, minus the fog and stuff. And that's it. Alright, St. Germain, thank you for the bulk donation as well, my friend. Interview the vampire is so good. So, okay, you guys are doubling and tripling down on my life. What is it? Interview with a vamp. Interview with a vampire. I gotta watch that now. Wes Donini. Vivid Voltage. Saw Vivid Voltage. I wasn't looking for that. Alright, Wes, let's go, bro. One, two, three. Green code. Okay, we'll take a green code. Um, Wes, Life Sanders codes. Bam. We're gonna do five on the green codes. Yo, Rob, let me know what you pulled today. What was the hit? What was the bit? Oh, bro, what? Guys, this Lycan Rock has the moon in it. You know how we feel about those cards. We love them. Amazing rare time? Nope. Just an energy. Come on, Wes. Has anybody in the chat actually pre-ordered Shining Fates? Or do you plan on? Or are you planning on skipping the set? Let me know what you guys think. West Donini. One, two, three. Okay, you got a Steelix V. That's not bad. Nothing crazy, but five dollars is great for charity. One, bro, that is what I'm talking about. That is pretty crazy right there. That's better than pulling any card in any set right now. Um, let's go, man. I love that. Let's go, man. Polish Rob, guys. If you haven't subscribed to Polish Rob already, go do that immediately. A great community member, and he's doing charity streams now that. Oh man, let's go bro, making a huge difference. That's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, Cramorant, and this is for West. Let's go West, one more pack. I pre like 1K of stuff for Shining Fates. Yo, you're going in on Shining Fates, eh? One of my favorite movies is Sound of Noise, foreign film featuring vigilante musicians Commuting musical, committing musical crimes. Okay, okay, musical crimes. That reminds me of Infinite by Eminem. He's like, you heard of how I was sent from it? I went to it murdering, or what was it? I went to it serving a sentence for murdering instruments. Dang, Eminem. Who listened to the new Eminem album the other day? I listened to some of it. Um, Baron says, I'm waiting. Hopefully you get all your peers. It's so yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's tough. I was bored. And I saw you in Hot Tonight. I'm getting Hidden Fates Christmas. Let's go 30 FPS, guys. I like that. Hidden Fates is a good Christmas present for sure. I hope you pull the heat. Let me know what you pulled too. We got a shift tree. We got a Dialga. Okay, Wes. I'm sorry, bro. Not any Pikachu's in here, but we did get you something. The Steelix. I listened to the whole thing. I was bored and saw. Okay, okay. You 
Guys, we're six packs down. How many amazing rares are we going to pull out of the next 30 packs? I'm thinking we pull three. I'm thinking three is incoming for sure. West Onini. Guys, if you haven't said West Onini out loud, just say it once. Thank me later. Um, bam. Tyler Berry says, click, click. <laughs> oh, we got one of the doubles. And then sure it gets six packs. One, two, three. One, two, three. Should I get that out of the way? Looks bad there, eh? Tyberry says five. Jeez. 30 FPS says two to three. Jay Hitaro says three. I like that. MM Shirk, this is for you. Why does it look like more than six? It isn't, but it looks like more than six. All right. Let's go through five different stores to figure out that much. One store wouldn't let me. Ooh, man, you're going deep, bro. Are you gonna open it all? Do you plan on saving some? What are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure I like saying those codes. So there we go. One, two, three, four. Over 9,000 is right. Jeez. Go, go. Number one. Okay, hit him on top. Reverse hollow. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Full art, Age of Slash, VMAX. Back to back hits in that pack. We like any of the original fighting Pokemon because this is the Poke Dojo. Okay, very nice. Next, we got the Zerud artwork. Biscuit, that's too good, bro. Oh, man, MM Shirk. MM Shirk cleans up. He is a sniper on a lot of channels. His luck is gold. See how gently he plays down the hitmon top? <laughs> Baron says, just pulled the gold Oranguru out of one of the fun fall lunchbox things. Man, I love that card. I like to call it uh, Laker Gang Orangutan. Because it looks like an Orangutan. And he's Laker Gang colors. That's love, says Sean Price. <laughs> okay, we got a Whale Lord. Guys. This Hollow Charizard is being given away. If you are not entered in the giveaway yet, or don't know what I'm talking about, could you please let me know in the chat? Let's do five. Can we get a Charizard already? We need that Reverse Hollow Charizard in one of these packs. It needs to be done. Charmeleon, shout out Nerdy Noob on our Charmeleon pull tonight. Genesect, okay. MM. I bought that gold monkey, I love that card. Man, I love that card. Laker Gang Orangutan. Yo, MM, chill, bud. What's going on here? What is all this? Why are you pulling all the stripes? I actually really like Mankey too. Mankey and Prime Ape. Oh, guys, Prime Ape is getting his first, uh, his first ultra rare card. Okay. So he never had like a V card. He never had an EX card or any of those. And he's finally getting one for the battle styles set.
Oh man, MM, can you chill out? Can you chill here? This is the opposite of mine sweeping. He's getting all the hits, guys. It's gonna be a double hit pack, too. Okay, we'll call that a, a, a 0.5. And then... Okay, we got the Snorlax right behind it. That's a good card. All right, all right. Guys, what are your thoughts on Vivid Voltage? All right, we finish off with a green card. One, two, three, four. Hit him on top, my guy. Come on, amazing rare. Kakuna with a tie. Shout out Saint Germain. Alright, so he did get a lot of the stripe codes, but he did get one full air too, so that's not bad. MM Shrek, you did well. You got a Zekrom reverse hollow rare. You got a Snorlax hollow rare. You got um, an Age of Slash V Max. And your number one hit, you got a hit on top, reverse hollow. What do you guys think of the battle styles? I've heard of some ETBs from Hydro. I love the battle style set. Well, I don't know anything that's in the set yet, but I love the. Or Rishifu, or sh whatever his name is. I've never seen him before until the other day when we saw him on one of the code cards. But I like any of the fighting Pokemon. So that's the new gen fighting Pokemon. He looks that cool. I like him. So I'm actually really excited for it. I li uh, like him. It would be cool to see a plant man on a full arch. Yeah, man, that'd be so sick. So, M.M. Shirk, once again, thank you, sir. Boom. I really like the amazing way I pull all five of them swinging the Chunker Chew Rainbow, though. Man, it's apparently one in a thousand packs, so, and I believe it from, we've up, we probably opened up upwards of a, a thousand packs of Vivid on this channel. And, uh, Chunker Chew is impossible to get so far. Very, very hard. Amazing Rares are gorgeous in person. They really are. That Rayquaza is especially nice in my opinion. So is the Laker Gang Puppy. Laker Gang Puppy is nice too. Thank you so much, MM. We got... Oh, wow. Both the... Both the six packs are up. So MM was is uh, completed. We got Timmin up next. And Timmin has one, two, three, four, five, six packs of Vivid Voltage. Set all from live pack breaks. That is crazy, bro. <laughs> Corey pulled one for me on here. Yeah, it was the Zamazenta, I think, eh? Uh, wait, who's packs these? Timmin? I'm not sure if Timmin likes to keep his code, so we're gonna keep it for him. Alright, I think I'll speed up a little bit, guys. What do you guys think? Should I speed up? We still have to do the, the pack battle, so. I think speeding up is probably a good idea. The 
Zama Zenta. Let's go. Hey. Okay, reverse holiday Porion. And we got the ice cream. Four more packs. Four more packs. This he says I pulled five in ten packs. Of the thick boy Pika. That's something unheard of. You should post a picture of those in the Discord for us. Oh, I showed that code. I gotta refund him a code now. Damn. That's nuts. Sucks, uh, Wizards of the Coast and Nintendo broke up right before Rayquaza was a thing. Imagine an E-Series set with- Oh man, that'd be nuts. Does anybody have gold stars in this chat? Or is interested in gold stars? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talk about amazing rares enough, you'll end up pulling one. We got the Celebi, guys. Look at that. Jeez. Sparkles. Wow. Okay. Okay. Heating up a little bit. We got the Celebi, the Vaporeon. The eggs are cute. Pokemon says, all right, back. Going back to um, fourth last minute Christmas shopping match. I'm going to buy 35 gifts. Jeez. I believe in you, Pokey Kanono. Sean Price throwing the fire. Scott throwing the fire. I can be the amazing rare surf under Evox. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's crazy. You got some good pulls, eh? Send you a pick in a few years when PSA returns them. <laughs> Hope it's not a few years. Bam, Zeb Striker. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, there we go, Timmin. Okay, our second Aegis Slash VMAX of the day, guys. We'll take it. We'll take it. Still a full art. Oh, man, Baron. Jeez, bro. Throwing some salmon in brine right now for the smoker tomorrow. Oh, my God, man. That sounds so good. I love salmon, personally. And I love smokers. Putting something in the sm Oh, man, bro. Come on. Yo, hook it up, Baron. Baron, you're the one that goes hunting too, eh? You know what you're doing with your food. Oh man, oh, it's too late, too late. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry, Tim. I'll place that for you. Boy, you know, I'm still missing the cell be amazing rare. Going to bed, boys. Have a good one. Man, Nico, thank you so much, bro. Hope you have a great night. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I want to see tomorrow. I want to see tomorrow. Smoked salmon sounds so good. It really does. You guys like lox? Is it called lox? I think I like... I like cooked salmon. Like... It's weird to say so the one that you just get and it's like supposed to be raw but smoked maybe it's cooked because it's smoked but it doesn't taste the same to me as like I don't know I think you guys know what I'm talking about it still tastes good but it just tastes a little bit more fishy for to me than like regular oven cooked or barbecued or whatever salmon but I've had like cooked salmon that's been smoked as well so 
I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I like my fish cooked. Yeah, exactly. I like it cooked. That's why like, I can't even... I'm not even a sushi fan, to be completely honest. I'm the only one out of my family, too. Everyone else eats sushi except for me. Like, I'll still try it. I'll try it every time. I'm just like, one or two is good. Let me get back to something else. Bam! All right, so Timon, congratulations on your amazing rare pull. James Charles says you're missing out on sushi. I, I don't think I've tried the right sushi. That's what everyone tells me too. Whenever I tell them I, I don't like sushi, they're like, you haven't been to the right spot yet. So I'll still try it every single time until I find a sushi I like, but. Um, boom, so I'm putting on this card, Timon. Timon is a capital T. It depends on the quality of fish that is used. My smoked salmon does not taste super fishy. Oops. I like that. He's like my smoked salmon. Oh, bro. Let's go, Baron. Baron, you gotta make like a recipe book or something. You gotta do something. You gotta do something with food. You gotta share your expertise. Cosmo. Let's go, Cosmo. You're up next. Love sushi, grew up on it, but still have eaten some of that I can't even deal with. Yeah, there's probably like Walmart brands that are not great. You gotta go to like a restaurant, get someone to actually make make some sushi. One, two, three. Let's go, Cosmo. Yo! Chill! Pokey Kanono! Oh man, this is crazy. Guys, thank you so much. Pokey Kanono, thank you so much for that. Love the little puppy. The, the Pokey Dojo puppy. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. Jeez! <laughs> That's crazy. Cosmo. Thank you so much for that. What? <laughs> for the Pokey Dojo. Let's go. The Pokey Dodge Coin. <laughs> Jeff the Ref with the fire. Triple fire. Triple fire stack. Ooh, Mozart with the fire and lightning combo. Oh, reverse hollow Charmander. Just in time for the super chat or super sticker. That's cool. That's it. Pokey K no, no, thank you. That's cool, but at least you didn't spend 10k for a business deal. Let's find out. You hate it, but still ate it to make a deal with a Japanese guy with his family's business. That sounds tough, bro. Do Baron, how do we get some? Yeah, man. Wait, what do you say? Also, make some candied salmon. Yo. Okay, so I watched an episode of The Simpsons two days ago, and Homer forgot presents or something, and then he went to the Quickie Mart, and Apu was like, all I have left is uh, jerky made from trout. And I was like, is, is there a thing as fish jerky? That can't be a thing. And you kind of uh, kind of just doubled down that there is, there is some jerky out there made out of fish. Whoa, are we lagging right now, guys? Heavy leg on my end. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second. I think we're back. I think we're back. Hmm, maybe we're not. Are we back? It's a hit. Don't know what it is yet, but it's a hit. Cosmokemon. Indeed, fish jerky is a thing. What? Obviously, if you're making deals with Japanese people, you have to eat, drink, and enjoy what they feed you. 
I love Japanese food to be completely honest. I went to uh, this one girl's house for traditional Japanese meal. I don't really remember any of the names of the stuff. I wish I did, but it was actually delicious. But it had the, uh, there was a lot of salmon. There was a lot of salmon. There's a jerky from a lot of animals, you'd be surprised. No way. You've been lagging off and on. Oh, that's tough, bro. Yeah, I gotta, I think I'm gonna go back to no borders and stuff. Or, I don't know. What do I do? Uh, I gotta figure it out, though. I gotta figure it out. Last pack for Cosmo. That salmon candy before it's pretty good. Bro, that just, what is this? What's this salmon, candied salmon, smoked candy? Jeez. We gotta bell them. So Cosmo, man, that was tough. Three tough packs. At least you got the Charmander. Your hit was a Deancey. And then you had a Reverse Hollow Dust Noir. That is a Reverse Hollow Rare. Okay, Reverse Hollow Rare. Not bad. Charmander's a little bonus. I've had Horse Jerky and Crocodile Jerky. Are you serious? I, I try. I try both of them. I would try both of them. But are they good? Was it any good? Man, I have to go get some jerky now. I've missed jerky. I just get uh, Jack Lynx. I don't know if you guys have Jack Lynx there. Essentially, honey glazed salmon jerky. Bro, chill, man. Baron, send some over. Vacuum seal it and send it over. There's some raw beef things that's super good. Says Biscuit. I've had salmon candy before. It's got from BC. Wow, cards are changing without you touching them. Oh, is it that bad right now, guys? Hmm. Yeah, okay, it looks pretty bad, eh? Ooh, what do I do? Do I restart the screen? Yeah, okay. Okay, all right, what's going on, Pokezonic? Um, we'll give it five more seconds. If it's still lagging, then I'll just restart the stream. Nothing else we can do. Yeah, it looks like it's still lagging, eh? Oh, man. Give it a minute. What do you guys think? Who's next, by the way? Is this still rough? Next, we have Stacking Stoner. Is it still rough, guys? Let me know. It looks like it's rough, in my opinion. Ooh, a bit laggy. Okay, all right, yeah. I will not let you guys go through this lag. <laughs> So, I'm gonna restart the whole um, mode.